In fact, there's a there's a documentary about Clapham Junction, which I'm in as well. They've interviewed me, and it tells the story about this area before these flats, and it was squalor. When I say squalor. Uh, I didn't know it was so... I kind of knew certain stories because of my, my white friends would tell me, you know. But I didn't know it was like that. Like, they had pictures of the kids and they even had a couple of, you know, guys who were still alive. One guy in particular, he looked very well for his age because he, he could tell you from the 50s, you know. But he looked... It's just like, you look at him, he's like, how do you know that? But he just looked after himself and he was, they showed us pictures of him. They didn't have shoes. They had to walk around in bare feet. Yeah, they showed you the squalor. Was it kind of a, a, a bomb site after the war? That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. And that's what they were talking about. Yeah. So the bomb site, you know, the bomb hit Battersea hardcore, so there was a lot of... Um, there was deprivation anyway. I mean, that's not... You know, before that, because I've spoken to... Uh, this this man is a very rich man and some people I was around and he said to me, oh, I used to live in... Um, he, the road he lived on, I had a girlfriend on that road. Can't remember the, anyway, it was up Northcote Road. And he goes, I used to have a house, but my first house, I thought, he said. He goes, it was a, it was a shithole, he said. He said, nobody would want to live there. Now he lives in... When, in and business in King's Road. And in Wemmer, Notting Hill, his house, if you ever see him all, see him him all. And... Yeah, he was just saying how the place was rotten from them, but he bought a place there. And so that was a good insight to know about Battersea. The, it's called, I can't even remember now, I mean, it's terrible, isn't it? Uh, it's called Story of Battersea, Clapham Junction.